Right now, guys, just a quick follow up. I went to the rang out to the paint shop and they didn't have any paint that I wanted. I went to a car shop and they had this paint and it's just an acrylic lacquer. I'm not plugging this, but it's just an acrylic lacquer, clear. It's heat resistant, it's this, it's that. So it was affordable. It was $50 for this tin. And I've applied it with a brush now. You saw the breakdown, I've put, I've put five coats on this. Yes, you can see that. I've put five, uh, about five coats. Each coat it got a little bit better, a little bit better. So now, finally, we've got it to the point where there's no breakdowns around the edges or the main plate. Oh. You can see it's breaking down there a bit. We're just not getting breakdown off the plate anymore, around the edges or anything. And that's on both of them. So both the plate, it was getting breakdowns at a few points, so I just dabbed it on a thick coat. And, um, hey presto, you can see the breakdown there. I wonder if I should turn the lights out. You can see it's breaking down there, but when I go over this, there's no breakdowns anywhere. And as I come back to here, it's breaking down again. Should change to the other one. Because I guess, you know. Oh, there's a breakdown. Look, there's a breakdown. One left there. There's a little breakdown there. So there's two left on this. So I'll give this another coat. This one will get another coat. And I guess that's a way you could do it. You could do, you could paint them and then sit down and test each one. I mean, that's um, 30,000 volts or 40,000 volts. Let's take it up. There's about 70,000 volts. And I'm not getting that. I am getting it there. When I say 70,000 volts, it's there. Definitely there because I didn't lack of that. The fuel around the back here. Um, anyway, it's a way to pre test before you assemble, which is what I should have been doing quality control. And this is where the manufacturing, I spent so much time getting the manufacturing down on this so that when, you, when I make them, I want to be able to make them and get good results. I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it. I'm just saying it is a way where it, this disc has now, I know the disc is, I've tested it. There's right no on. So what we're doing is I've got me um, brush. I'm finding that the brush is taking the air bubbles out quite easily. Um, better than the sprays and the, and the other stuff that I've tried. After four coats, I'm getting really good um, insulation okay. in four coats. So I'll do a close up for you. So what has happened is um, I've gone through, let me just back a bit, about here, hopefully you can see it. I'm going through, I've hooked this side here up and I'm finding the spots. This is, I've done four coats. And when I come and look at it, I can see there's a little, so I've got a little round edge on this. I'm just flattening that out. Over there. So the spot here. That's it. Just wanted to show you that. So I did that on both the 
both the plates and the discs and that's it once I do them all I'll hit them with another coat probably get two more coats and then we should be done right <coughs> here we go so I've gone through I've um, I did the first test so that I thought I'd record this because what's happened is I've done the first test when I did it and found these breakdown points I was only using the, the spark it was a humid day and I couldn't get a big spark up out of it I think I was using 40,000 volts then a couple of days later when I did my next one I could get a bigger spark and it blew holes through so I should have had the the higher spark gap to start off with but this one didn't leak wherever these ones are they didn't leak again it, it only came up in a different spot um, <clears throat> so that's it so I'm, that was my first one was a circle next one was an X so here we go again I'm just going to do that I've done all of them and um, I'm just putting on a big dob especially this end here yeah. so there's a couple of little crosses there I'll go through and get and then that's it maybe one big coat for all of them and um, job done right hey here we go. I thought I'd have a little bit of play with it. I bought a light bulb. A, um, so I'm just using the wind first to prime it. And um, it's running this, um, this is just a fluorescent light bulb, a 15 watt. It's not very bright, but at least it um, gives you an idea, I guess, of potential output. I mean, it's not burning light bulb out. This is a 15 watt light bulb, mind you. And maybe I should get a neon light. I think I have got neon light. I might do that. I might buy a 15 watt neon light. If I slow it down. It's not really dulling off. Maybe we're not getting the full potential. Oh, too much resistance. Oh, there's too much resistance in it. That's what it is. So it's running. And I'm just using the Windshurst with a spark cap. Not much of a spark cap, about a centimetre. Need more capacitance. Test. Oh, I'm still thinking about it. So it's not too bad, but it's not the same depth of spark that we had before. Um, I'm going to try and open this one here up a bit. It's still pretty good, like it's a fair bit of power compared to a Windsor's. Um, you can see the load is not much. Um, I, know, I should get another amp meter and see what it's what it's using, but anyway, it must be six or seven watts or ten watts or something to run the motor. Um, so it is better. Trying with that one, mate. I think if I do this really quick, I've um, done a quick video there for you. What I've found is that um, this was the better dielectric, the spray on. This one is a good uh, paint on dielectric and had no air bubbles. This one, I sprayed it on a little bit too thick. I didn't read the instructions. The instructions clearly say don't spray it on thick. I actually sprayed it on thick. The other thing that I didn't do was I didn't sand the, when I had the, um, when I stuck the, here's the stuff. So I stick it on this, I lay it out, pull it out and put it on. What I should have done was when it was on here, I should have got some sandpaper and rubbed it before I even put it in the cutting machine. Um, this stuff could have a protective coating on the outside of it, which is why this stuff didn't want to stick to it. So I will, next time I'll get some fine sandpaper, I'll rub it, I'll put it on my plate, on my sticky back thing. Before I cut it, I will give it a rub, quick rub with some sandpaper just so I can see the whole surface is scratched. And I might even wipe it with a bit of thinners or something. 
I should experiment a bit and try and, you know, I might even do that. I might make experimental plates and just see which ones, when I get a spark, which ones are more noticeably better spark. Anyway, um, I will re also, I'm talking about redesigning it. I'm thinking of redesigning this. I only made it 200 mil. I believe I could make, this disc is only 150 mil. If I could make it 200 millimeters, which is out to here, which would be there like that from there to there, it'd be a much more bigger disc. Also, I could put more sectors on it if it was bigger. Um, and I could have more distance between the center here and the, see I've only got about a centimeter there. So I could take that out, I could add an extra five mil or so on to here to get further away from the, the breakdown point is here around the top, around this thing. I could also make that a little bit smaller. I could take two or three mil off this and make it a little bit smaller. And just give us a bit more without having to worry about um, insulators, we could just, you know. Anyway, that's about it. Um, yeah, so this one here ended up being the better, more bang for buck. The original video, if you go back and look at it, the original video when this thing bang, whoa, you know. Uh, and this one's good insulator, good insulative properties, it's insulated but it doesn't um, have the same spark as what the other one is. Anyway, uh, all right, no worries, that's it. That's what I found. Uh, it's a good product to use as a, to stop your arcing. It seemed to work for that. And it was available at a car shop, a car auto detailing car parts shop. It's just a clear gloss, acrylic clear gloss. This one I got off the internet um it i just ordered i i googled uh available uh spray paint for plastic and metal and that's how i came across that one and it seems to be the best dielectric so far real good depth of spark right no worries